let's head over to the lower part and draw the junctions for that. So once again with this 2 inch size, I'm going to get the pipe command PI, then check welded sprinkler, diameter 50 or 2 inches, then I'm going to hit inherit elevation, then go here and click, and then draw this pipe to the end of this line. So we're going to stop here, then press escape. Now let's go over here to one of these sprinklers. First I can take a look at this path in section and check to see if there are any beams in the way. So I'm going to take this section and put it right here, then right click and go to view. Let's go take a look in section and this is the branch we just drew coming this way and it looks like we have enough space to make it higher. As you can see the beams are allowing that. We've drawn this pipe at a lower elevation Actually, let me go back to the plan so we can see this entire part in 3D. I'm going to select then press BX. And here we are. So we drew this pipe at a lower elevation so that it goes past this beam and this one. So from here on out it can go higher. Actually, let me set the discipline back on coordination so we can have a better view on the way. And there it is. So now that I'm drawing this branch, I'm talking about this one, then there's no need to have too low of an elevation. I can just go back here to the section we had and then try to use split. First we go to the modify tab, then click split, then split the pipe here, also delete the unions, and then I'm going to change this elevation to 3900, the elevation we had before. There we go. Now I want to connect these two together. One way is that I can draw a 45 degree pipe from this T and then lead it upwards. First let's try dragging to see if it can happen. I'll stop at 135. Do you see how it stopped at 45 degree angle? Now I can trim TR to connect them together. So I didn't just increase the length and put an elbow, we've just saved ourselves an elbow. So let's go back to the plan. So for this one I'm not going to have to add a pipe upwards, I'll, I can just connect it from the side. So this pipe is at elevation 3900, I'll get the pipe command PI, then enter 3900 with diameter 25, and now I'm going to click and click, and so we've connected our sprinkler. Now if you look closely, they didn't connect because we stopped at the axis, so I'll drag it to the edge so they connect. We're going to repeat that here, click and click. Now what about these two? We can't connect them from the sides of the pipe. So let's go at a higher elevation, 4400, and then click, and click, and we have connected our first sprinkler. Now let's go in section, we're going to go to this one. I'm going to minimize my section a little, then right click and go to view, and now I can go to this and click on its plus sign to convert it to a T, and from here on out, it's easier to connect the pipe to the sprinkler in the plan. Right click and draw pipe, and then we're going to go over here, and that's how we connect them. Let's go check in section, we're going to have to readjust our elevation. What's this one? It's 4400. So I'm going to select it and move it from here downwards, then type in equals 404 minus 100. Then press enter to place this at the proper elevation. Now I'm going to select these, then change their diameters from 15 to 25 and readjust them as well. Let me go in the plan. I'm going to try to take this piece of pipe we just drew, and well, even the sprinklers, and copy them over to this side. I'm going to try to see if the copy command will come in handy here or not. So first, I'm going to try to delete the sprinklers. Delete. Only I have to remember that something here that needs readjustment is that the elevation of the ceiling changes by this dash line. But it's fine, we're going to readjust it. I'm going to select this part, but I'm not going to need this T right here. So I'll hold the shift key and click on it to deselect it. Now I'll click the copy command and copy from the axis of this pipe. And then I'm going to go down to the axis of this pipe over here. And now as you can see, just like I said, this sprinkler, it says does not lie on host face. So it's not lying on its host because its elevation was different. We already know that, we're going to fix it. And while multiple is checked, I'm going to go down here and click again. 
And then once again we get a warning for both of these sprinklers. They've been repositioned a little bit so I'm going to align them AL. This is the base and the axis of the pipe. Alright, so we're done copying for now. So I'm going to go to this section right over here. For this one the connection is fine. But as for this one, I'm just going to drag to connect it to the main pipe. And now on the end, I can just trim them TR and connect these two together. Only I should keep in mind that this part of the end of the pipe, its diameter changes to 1 inch or 25. So we've just used the copy command to save ourselves from drawing each pipe one by one. Now what's going to happen to the sprinklers? I'm going to take a look in this section, right click and go to view and... This is the first one we drew, but we copied these two. So I'm going to select the two sprinklers. And then I'm going to go to Edit Work Plane and Pick a Plane. Remember that in lower versions this Pick a Plane may not exist. So just click on Edit Work Plane, pick and click OK. Now you have to pick your plane, this is it. And there we go. So now that this pipe is moving and being repositioned, we get an error saying that this connectivity cannot be kept. So I'm going to press escape so we can see them one by one. This first one, select, edit work plane and pick a plane. And currently, this is the only one that's being edited. Also, all of our errors say that some element needs to be deleted to make this connection happen. Let me click on show to see what it's going to show us in other views. You see, now that it's trying to modify this line, it's resulting in a strange shape. Let's go to the next one and click show and it's talking about the same line. It's like two items are being overlapped. So let's go back to our section. It was this one. Let's see what's going to happen to it. First we're going to select then edit it by picking and pick this plane. So there was no problem with this one. This is the one that's causing an error along the way. So first I'm going to delete this transition and completely disconnect it from the pipe. I'm going to drag the pipe higher and now I'm going to select this and then edit it by picking then click OK and pick this plane. Now we're going to have to take a look and see where it went. We just completely lost it. You see, even if this error won't go away and keeps bothering you, you could just first delete this then take the sprinkler and copy it, just the sprinkler itself, from here to for example, over here. Alright, now that it's been placed, we're going to align it with this pipe. And then we're going to drag the pipe and connect it to the sprinkler. So first, the host wasn't properly recognized and it only caused us problems. So I just deleted it and drew it this way. Now, what about the ones on this side? Let's go check out their hosts. This one's properly placed. So is this one and this one. So even though copying was a shortcut for us to save us time from drawing everything all over again, but we had to rehost our sprinklers. If your ceiling was one piece and had only one elevation, then copying is faster for you. So we also had to readjust the diameters. We did this one. And now I'm going to have to hold the control key, then select this T and this pipe, then change their diameters to one and one half, which equals 40. And then as for these, their sizes are already 2 inches. Now about this line, you see we don't have anything yet to copy. We only have this sprinkler and two others. We have one on this side and two other on this side. And also all of their hosts are different. Then again here and here. So copying may not be a good choice for us here. But first I'm going to try to draw this line. So pipe command PI. Inherit elevation and 2 inches as in diameter 50. Now I'm going to go here and click and then move downwards to here. We're going to make the next click then press escape. Alright, so we have just drawn and connected this branch. So let's go take a look in section and see what has happened to this part. I'm going to put this section here and expand it and then right click and go to view. First, let's check the elevation. There is enough space for this pipe to go higher. So I can just use split and one and two clicks. Then I'm going to delete the unions. And then I'm going to turn this to a 45 degree angle or 135. And then we're going to change this one's elevation to 3900. Let's double check. There's nothing interrupting anything. Now trim TR to connect these two together. Now let's go back to the plan. 
right over here. First I'm going to get the pipe command PI and then with elevation 4400 and diameter 25 I'm going to go here and click and then the next click would be over here and also let's go to the edge of the pipe so that they connect. Now I'm going to click on the plus sign of the elbow to convert it to a T then on the T right click and draw pipe then go to the next sprinkler. And now again from the sprinkler I'm going to have to convert the elbow to a T to connect it to this one. To have a better view I'm going to select the sprinkler then press HH to hide it temporarily. Now here click on the plus sign of the elbow to convert it to a T then right click on the T and draw pipe and then go to over here. Click and we're done. Also the sprinkler we just hit I'm going to click on reset temporary. All right, let's go in a section. I'm going to take this one and place it along these pipes. Right click and go to view. Let's take a look at here. There's one connection. There's another and this one. Let's readjust the diameters. I'm going to hold the control key and click on this. And while still holding it, I'm going to select these two. Now I'm going to change the diameter to 25. All right, so we're done. Let's fix the length of the nipple. Currently it's on 404. I'm going to select the pipe and then move it, click somewhere and go downwards then type in equal 404 minus 100. So this just came down and all of those have been fixed. Our only problem is this one down here which is going through the beam. So first I'm going to disconnect this pipe and then delete the transition. Then I'm going to move this to the right and now I'm going to select this whole part then press BX to view them in 3D and now in 3D I'm going to set the discipline on mechanical and then go over here. We're going to go to the systems tab and get the flex pipe. I'm going to go over here then click and click again right over here. So now we've just connected these two together. Let's go back to the plan only I have to remember that the sprinkler right here is an on drop type and its symbol should also be on drop. As for the rest of these, I'm going to repeat the same thing. First the pipe command PI and for the elevation, let's use this one. Let's see if it'll work. It says 4096. So here we're going to get the pipe command PI, then enter the elevation 4096 and then go to the sprinkler and click and to the edge of this pipe, we're going to click again. Now the elbow, we're going to convert it to a T. Then right click on the T and draw pipe and then this time I'm not going to connect it to this but we go to the end of this line and click. Now I'm going to select the sprinkler and connect it into this pipe. Let's go check in section. I'm going to take this section and put it here then right click and go to view. So now they have been connected together. Wasn't this a better way to do that? Sure, it definitely was. Alright, so let's readjust these diameters. I'll hold the control key and select all of these and change them to 25. Now let's double check, everything looks fine here. But then again, we have a problem on this one. There's only something wrong with this. So I'm gonna go and use split, then split the pipe here. Also delete the unions. Then I'm gonna lower this pipe and then right click and draw pipe. Then go to here and draw the pipe at a 45 degree angle. Now we use trim to connect them together. So basically now that our pipes became longer, we don't have to necessarily use flexible pipes. I just connected them normally. Now let's go back to the plan and we're gonna try to connect, connect these two sprinklers by PI and because we're connecting from the side of the pipe, we use inherit elevation. Then we're gonna click here and click again to connect to the sprinkler. Now let's change the diameter of this pipe to 25 and then try to connect it to the sprinkler. We get the pipe command PI then at 3900 we're gonna click and click again here. If they didn't connect we use trim TR and connect them together. Let's also double check the sizes. This one is one inch so I'll select the pipe and the T then change their diameters to 25 which is one inch and then let's go higher. This one is one and one half. So let's select the T and the pipe by holding the control key. 
then change their diameters to one and one half or 40 millimeters. Also, the start of the line's diameter was two inches. Now, I can just try to view this entire area in 3D to double check stuff. I'm gonna select this area, then press BX. And now we're gonna take a look in selection box and see that everything has been connected properly. Now to have a better view, we set the discipline on coordination. We wanna see the architectural better. As you can see, the connection here is proper and it's going below the beam. And also the connection is fine here as well. And everything else looks fine. And also this first one, we connected it by using flexible pipe and all these other pipes are going downwards and connecting to the sprinklers.